Yo guys, welcome back to King Owls. Attended Nottingham Forest 2 at Manchester United 1. And yes, once again, another shocking away performance by Manchester United. Once again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised by that. I said in my Aston Villa review after we beat them, I was saying, oh yeah, look, we can enjoy this one, but don't be surprised if we lose to Forest and we've lost to Nottingham Forest. Uh, I think it's shocking. I think the whole performance from Manchester United was shocking today, especially in the first half. Second half was not great either, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, again, can't be asked wasting my energy over it because it's not something that uh, I didn't expect uh, to happen, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone played uh, particularly well today. Uh, yeah, Rashford scored a goal, but I still think he's shit and we should sell him in January. I think Rashford's absolutely shocking. Brings nothing to the team whatsoever. Uh, just stands there waiting, basically. Zero work rate, Marcus Rashford has got. Absolutely zero work rate. Does not care one bit. Um, yeah, and he, he, I know. He kind of looks a bit smug and proud of himself at the end that he actually scored a goal. But everyone still thinks you're shocking. Because uh, apart from scoring that goal, you had an awful game. Um I think Johnny Evans is useless. I'm not going to lie. I think Johnny Evans is shocking. Um, um, yeah, um, who else? I thought Ganacho was pretty awful today. Uh, Ericsson and Mainu were probably our two best players, half decent players today. They, Ericsson and Mainu were both all right. Uh, Wambasaka, no work rate from him today, leaving the right hand side open. Dallo. Uh, all right at times and awful at times. Uh, yeah, I just feel like overall it's just a shocking performance by Manchester United. In that first half, we had one chance. We had one shot in that first half. It was on target, but it was nothing that really did bother Forrest. Um, yeah, and we have 54% possession. We did absolutely nothing when we had the ball, basically, apart from just knock it backwards. I think Bruno, sh I was shocking today. He hasn't played one in a very long time for us now. Um yeah, I just feel like it's an awful performance and it just always happens. It just always happens at the moment. You know, we win a game, then we lose a game, especially when it's away as well. We're absolutely shocking away. Uh, yeah, look, t today was absolutely shocking performance by Manchester United. It's not good enough, uh, to be honest with you. I I've had enough um, of it. It, it. It's just getting so predictable now, these kind of results now, to be honest with you. And you know, none of the players care. Um, Eric Ten Hag, just favouritism that he has from certain players, such as Scott McTominay, I think, cost us. Uh, why are you taking Kobe Maynou off at half-time and bringing on Scott McTominay? Why? I, I, I don't see the point in that change whatsoever. Why are you bringing Scott McTominay in for Kobe Maynou at half-time? Makes zero sense to me. Scott McTominay... No, uh, Eric's 10 hour season is a game changer, but it's somebody hasn't changed the game since Brentford. Uh, oh, that was the last time he did it just because he does it once, does mean he'll do it for you on a consistent basis. So, yeah, get rid of Scummy Tommy, he's not good enough. Um, I thought, yeah, just just wasn't good enough today. Anthony's useless, please sell Anthony, please, please, please sell Anthony in January. He's absolutely awful. Like, like, we must get rid of the guy. We must get rid of the guy. Him and Rashford are shocking. I want them both gone, personally. I, I want uh, Anthony and Rashford both gone in January. I feel like they're both useless. They're dead weight. They hold us up. Get rid of them both. Get rid of them both. They're both absolutely shocking players uh, for this Manchester United team. We need to get rid of both of them. Holding us up a lot. Neither really care. Get rid of them both. Just, just get rid of them both. Awful performance. Um, yeah, um, I, uh, I, Unana's not to blame for anything today, but Bay and I want to see him starting again. Well, he will do because Unana's going to AFCON, luckily, but apparently Unana wants to kind of delay it, like, uh, when he goes or something. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't be on putting up with Unana again, uh, uh, for any longer, to be honest with you. It's honestly shocking. Uh, yeah, look, we, we need play, we need certain players back from injuries. We need Martinez back. Uh, we kind of need Maguire back as well. Uh, Lindelof. Like, we kind of Johnny Evans play. We kind of Johnny Evans play. Um, yeah, we need Martinez back. We need Casemiro back. 
yeah, I just feel like we need players back. But, you know, I still even think with the team that we put up to, out today, we shouldn't be having that kind of performance against Nottingham Forest. We had one shot in that first half, barely hardly any shots on target throughout that whole game. Second half, we were a little bit better, but we were still shocking. Uh, to be honest with you, we were still absolutely shocking throughout that game. Uh, yeah, overall, I feel like it's one of our worst performances throughout the season. Don't know what happened there. I, I, I just don't even know what the plan was. I don't know. I just... I uh, know. I kind of lost for words after that game. I'm not going to lie. I honestly kind of am actually lost for, for words after that. I think it was that blade shocking, uh, to be completely honest with you. It was, it was painful to watch. We don't play good football at all. We don't create good chances. We Our wingers hold our play up. Yeah, it's a shame Hoyland wasn't there, but I'm not even sure if that would have made much of a difference anyway. Anyway, good night for you. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you on the video. Thanks.